everyone, it's Bigfoot. We are just days away from the start of my 2016 Appalachian Trail through hike and I wanted to do a final video of all of the gear that I'm going to be bringing on my uh, through hike. So if you watched my previous lightweight gear setup video I posted a couple months ago, I made quite a few changes to that since then and uh, I'll walk through them pretty fast here. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail since I went through that in my other gear video. So if you want to know more details, go ahead and uh, check out my other uh, lightweight gear setup. So this is final. This is what I'm bringing on. Everything here has been tested uh, multiple times. I've been dialing this in for over 12 months, so I feel really comfortable and confident with the gear that I have here. My total base weight comes in at 11.4 pounds, which is a pound and a half lighter than what my original base weight was when I posted uh, all of my gear on my YouTube channel here a couple months ago. So uh, I'll go through this. I'll also talk about some of the things I took out and why I took it out. But I'm uh, really happy with how uh, everything fit in and uh, definitely, definitely comfortable with uh, what I got. All right, so I'm going to break this down the same way I did with my other videos. I'll go through all the clothing first, and then I'll go through my uh, shelter and sleeping arrangements. I'll talk about the electronics, my personal hygiene items, and my kitchen and uh, the water hydration system. So anyway, uh, having said that, let's go ahead and get uh, to the clothing. All right, so my clothing for the trail. I'm also throwing my footwear in this as well with my trekking poles. Uh, first thing, I got the uh, upgraded to the Black Diamond uh, Pro Trail trekking poles or four season and super rugged. They are heavier than the other trekking poles I had by about five ounces, totally worth it. Uh, one other thing I like about, like about them too is when you uh, unlock them, they don't really scrape the, uh, the pole and chip off all of the uh, letters, numbers like uh, the other ones I've used in the past, so I thought that was a great feature. All right, so I'm also bringing and gonna be wearing calf compression sleeves. I've been wearing these for about a month and a half and it really aided me in the recovery process in between my big hikes. Still got my outdoor research gloves here for uh, just to uh, prevent all the blisters and stuff in my hands. So I'm still keeping the same there, no complaints. I have my ex officio sports mesh boxer briefs, still going with a nine inch, works great. I am ditching the, uh, the sun mask or the buff and just bringing a bandana. I just love the bandanas. It's what I've been wearing most of the time. And uh, you know, I, I just uh, can't complain about uh, a good old fashioned bandana. I am going with uh, my lightweight Kaplan t-shirt. So I'm still doing that. The men's GI3, uh, Patagonia zip off pants. Another great thing about this too, I didn't mention on my last video is the zip off pants are in different colors. So you basically cannot uh, mess up which leg that it goes on. So that's good. <clears throat> Did a review on these. So I'm not going to talk a lot about my New Balance uh, shoes, but I'm going with New Balance Fresh Foam Hierros for my footwear. I uh, got my right socks, and then I did pick up this at headsweats.com, which is great. It's got a picture of Bigfoot, really cool, and uh, that will be my uh, my hat for the AT. All right, so that wraps up all of the gear that I'm going to be wearing on the trail. Let's go ahead and go to the trail and the elemental clothing. All right, so we'll start with the, uh, the base layer that I have. I did change this. So before, if you remember, I had the uh, Capilene uh, Thermal Weight. Uh, quarter zip without the hood. I I went with the hood. I love it. I'm so glad I did do this. Uh, I don't have to wear a hood most of the time. This has probably became my favorite piece of gear. So absolutely love this as my base layer. I uh, still have the Patagonia Ultralight men's ja uh, down jacket. So I uh, couldn't pass it up. It's just it's too light. Uh, so love that. Uh, still have my micro fleece hat. I'll be bringing uh, the Z packs Cuban fiber rain kilt, <clears throat> outdoor research, helium two, rain jacket. Again, I have this just in its pouch here. I didn't want to pull it all out. I've talked about it before, but uh, keeping that, that's great. Got another pair of ex officio boxer briefs, another Capilene lightweight shirt, another pair of right socks. And then I am going with the uh, Hurley board shorts. Just love the feel of them. I'm bringing a small little towel. I think it's like 0.7 ounces. Uh, definitely need this on the trail that I, I found. 
And then, uh, of course, everything will go in the dry sack that uh, has a micro fleece sewn into the other side and the inside so I can use this as a, as a pillow. So that's still the same. So, all right. Well, let's go over to the sleeping arrangements, my tent, and, and all that jazz. Next. All right, my main gear. So still got the 52-liter Arc Blast. Uh, love this. Got the belt pouches, shoulder pouch. Highly recommend the shoulder pouch to stick your uh, water bottle in here so you don't have to twist and turn to get to uh, the pouches on the side. Absolutely love that. Um, I probably have 300, 400 something miles on this so far. I do have a little hole appearing on the mesh. So I know that's kind of common, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. z packs duplex camouflage tent. Uh, I love this. I am really glad that I uh, got the, the camel version. So it just looks pretty sweet and um, can't complain. So this is the uh, z packs down sleeping bag, same sleeping bag from before. It is a 40 degree. Um, so I slept in it all the way down to 40, just a tad below. Uh, I did wear a down jacket when it got to that low, but uh, most of the time I'm going to see temperatures not much lower than 50 in the beginning. I know it's uh, somewhere in the 42 to 50 range, so uh, I'll be fine with that. I'll tough it out if I need to, but um, didn't think that it was necessary for the short amount of time I'm going to be on the trail to get something uh, heavier than that with uh, more, <clears throat> more down. All right, so I uh, still have the same mattress, the Thermarest uh, Neo Air X Lite. I am not bringing the the pouch with it. I'm just going to stuff this in my uh, clothing sack. I have enough room, so uh, it made no sense to throw an extra 0.7 ounces in my pack. And then, of course, I have my Thermarest Z Seat. So it's got a lot of use. Uh, love this piece. Um, I've used it, I don't know how many times, and keeps my tush nice and comfortable. All right, let's go over to the electronics. All right, so made a lot of changes with my electronics. So first off, GoPro. I bring my GoPro with an extra battery. I am bringing an extra housing. It's uh, called, I think it's the skeleton housing, which basically is a plastic frame that is open in the front and the back for the GoPro to be able to hear better and to be able to breathe better. So that's good. So got my InReach Explorer that uh, I'll use that you'll be able to track me on as well. I have my iPhone 6 and the new lifeproof case. Got my stick pick. I am not bringing the additional adapter for my cell phone. I figured I could just take all my pictures I need with my GoPro. I did make a change from my black uh, Diamond Storm to the Petzl E-Lite. I saved three ounces in this, a little bit more than three ounces. Love this. I don't anticipate hiking all the time in the dark. This is everything I need it to. I've taken it on about... I don't know, seven overnight hikes so far, and I've had no issues. I am bringing for my watch. Now, this is uh, going to be on me, so this is not part of my base weight, but this is the Sumto Traverse watch. It is totally awesome. They just came out with this watch, I think, in 2015. A lot of great features on it. Uh, I'll probably do a review sometime on the trail or when I get off the trail. Uh, you can see one of my other videos, I talk a little bit about this and some of the features that it does do, but uh, this is GPS, so I do have to charge it. Uh, which kind of stinks, but I absolutely love all the features on it, and I couldn't pass it up. I'm bringing a little Fitbit. I won't have to, you know, I'll probably just throw this in my pocket, but uh, all my coworkers have competitions on Fitbit, so I definitely wanted to uh, have some bragging rights for a while and kick their uh, their butts with all the, the uh, steps I'll be doing every day. Here's all my charges I'm bringing. Uh, I can't remember if I talked about this in my other video, but I have a dual charger, so when I I'm in a hostel, I can charge my brick and one other thing. I do have an extra battery for the Petzl as well in here. I decided to go with wireless uh, earphones. We'll see how this works. <clears throat> these last for about eight hours. And uh, I just, these were just out of the way when I'm hiking, which I really liked. And if it's raining, I can wear these underneath my hood and not have to worry about uh, getting my phone wet. Uh, got the Rav Power 13,400 milliamp. Uh, charger. This worked out great on my pre-hikes. I should have no problem getting three or four days worth of battery out of this. And then I uh, have my uh, little GoPro uh, tripod. I'll use this for any shots that I need to get uh, when I uh, don't want to hold my stick pick. And uh, this will also be able to wrap around a tree branch. So if I want to get a cool picture or something like that and I don't have anybody by me that uh, to take the picture, <clears throat> I can do that as well. Because uh, I know there's going to be some times that I don't want to... Uh, 
use my my stick pick to take a picture. So that kind of wraps up my all of my electronics. Let's go to what I have left of kitchen. All right, so I, this is where I probably made the biggest change. I decided I am going to go stoveless. I did this on my last two pre-hikes, uh, maybe even three pre-hikes, and uh, really found that it was unnecessary with the amount of miles I'm doing and how often I'm probably going to be able to have a hot meal at night. Uh, it'll be at least every three days, maybe sometimes even more often than that. Uh, and I don't use my stove for breakfast or lunch. So I, I didn't think it was necessary for me to uh, tote around a stove and fuel and all of that stuff. So um, going with this, uh, I am going with the Optimus Titanium Folding Spoon. And I uh, love this. I, I saw this on one of the uh, my, my subscribers' channels. And this is great because it fits right in your titanium pot. Now I use uh, something else, so, uh, but it still works out great. A uh, little Swiss Army knife. Uh, just have a lighter when I need it. I know it's a little bit bigger than most lighters, but I couldn't pass it up with the uh, the big foot on it, so a little bit of a luxury item. This is the uh, just a, a peanut butter, a Peter Pan peanut butter uh, bottle. I think it's 28 ounces. I did mark off what 16 ounces will be, so a lot of the times that I'm doing ramen or whatever it is that I'm hydrating, uh, I know exactly what how much water I need to fill up. And then, of course, I got my Z-Packs bear bag and uh, the uh, the rope that I need with it. So that's all for my kitchen. So uh, next, let's go through my uh, personal hygiene items. All right, so this is another area I, I did make a lot of cuts. I did mention that in my lightweight video that uh, I'd probably be dropping weight here. So still got my Quiz Titanium Cat Hole uh, Digger here. Uh, has worked out great, highly recommend. It's 0.5 ounces and uh, you know does a decent job with being able to uh, dig your holes for uh, when you have to do your business. Bringing a smaller thing of sunscreen, so this I thought was more practical. Uh, cut down on two and a half ounces for me. Uh, still have chapstick. Um, as you remember in my other video, I have to have body glide. I did find a more practical size, so this is just under a half of uh, half of an ounce of, of glide. So this should last me a good amount of time on the trail. I uh, have my deodorant. Got uh, hand sanitizer, <clears throat> and then uh, bring in toothpaste. And it's a bigger bottle, but uh, you know what? I just don't want to deal with uh, trying to find the smaller bottles. I did uh, cut my toothbrush a little bit smaller. I am bringing a normal toothbrush that's just cut here. I, I hate the smaller toothbrushes because there's not enough bristles, and it's just uh, I, I, for me, it's just uh, more practical. And then a, a much smaller thing of dental floss. I am bringing uh, sections of <clears throat> David's book, the AT Guide. So this is the first, I don't know, I think it's first 470 miles to Damascus. Uh, got a little ZPAX Cuban fiber wallet here I'll use to put my wallet stuff. And this is my first aid kit. Uh, just a few notable things. For earplugs, I did change it up, and I think these are decibels. So uh, work a lot better than those crappy foam earpieces that don't even work. Uh, I'm bringing Katie tape. Uh, got this from uh, 50, which uh, is a hiker that's uh, going southbound, and he is starting on June 1st, and he's doing it in the same amount of time as me, uh, shooting for 100 days. Actually, it's a little bit less than that. But uh, bring, gonna bring Katie tape for blisters if uh, you know I need to tape something up. That'll work out great. Got just some uh, multivitamins and some other things. I am bringing a small sewing kit just in case if I need it. Uh, it's hardly any weight. So, and then just some bandages and some things like that. And then everything will fit in my little Z packs. Keep them fiber big. So, that's everything on personal hygiene. And let's wrap up with uh, my hydration system. All right, so virtually nothing changed here. Still going with the Sawyer uh, squeeze. Uh, love this. Can't complain. I got a couple of uh, bags for my Sawyer. I have a cutoff water bottle to get all of the water out of the stream. And then I'm going with one smart water bottle. Uh, this is 20 ounces. It's perfect for mixing my Gatorade. I've got a little Gatorade left in there from one of my pre-hikes, but uh, that's perfect. This is the bottle that's actually going to be on my shoulder pouch that I'll be drinking out of most of the time. So what uh, I found out when I was doing my pre-hikes, this stayed in the shoulder pouch a little bit better, probably just because of the design of it. Um, and I didn't like the water bottle to be as long when it's in the shoulder pouch so it stays out of the way. But I am bringing a smart water top for this. 
so that seemed to work out really, really well. So um, that worked out great. That's my hydration system. All right, so that's it. That's my gear. So just a reminder, I start my uh, AT through hike this upcoming Saturday, 23rd of April. And uh, my, my plan still is to finish in 100 days, which actually gives me an exact date of the 31st of July. So that would be officially 100 days. If, uh, if you're interested in tracking me, you can go to my website at followbigfoot.com and just click on the track me link and uh, that will route you to a, a spot where you can uh, actually get connected to my GPS device and actually uh, see where I'm at, which is kind of cool. And uh, the other thing too, uh, I'll, I'll be uploading my trail videos as often as I can. I hope I can do it every two or three days. I plan on staying in a hostel about every three days. So uh, go ahead and uh, if you like what you uh, see here and you're interested in, in following me, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, click on the notifications and uh, you'll get notified every time I uh, post my next video. So that's it. Thanks everyone so much. I appreciate all of the support and uh, there's a lot of uh, pieces of gear here that I did make changes on because of the feedback that I got in some of my other gear videos. So I just wanted to thank all of my subscribers for helping me out. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, I guess I'll be seeing everyone on the trail in just a few days. All right. Thanks, guys. Bigfoot out.